what is going on you guys and man oh man what do we have in the shop today i just turned on a boat guy what's going on you guys john barcy Carlos here and today we have two big twins in the shop and i can't even get them in the picture things are so big uh this is a big big project reveal guys these are my two uh big power boats which i had since yeah i was very very young these project boats guys are going to be a big big uh, project for the channel and um, these are going to have a big mod to their power plants both of them and one of them is almost complete but one of them is not complete so by the way you if you are wondering yeah they are exactly the same and there's a <laughs> kind of like a, a strange story but one of them came defective from factory and they sent us another one so we have twins and i like how they look so that is no problem with me but um, yeah these are uh, power boats they are 36.6 inches long so they're pretty big yeah these are just basic boats basically they had basic power plants and uh, they are just a motor with a driven shaft to the rear propeller and uh, they were just simple boats but they were they were very fast from factory never had problems with these guys and uh, they were they were pretty reliable all i did is charge them and uh, just run them and yeah let them sit and by time uh the motors they, they did not went out they did not go out but uh they got a uh, worn out with rust and moisture because we did not use them that much and rust accumulated on the motors and um they kind of went bad and the electrical system went out as well on the good one so they just sat in that garage until i knew an rc so they came out about two years ago and we set up a major major uh, plan for both of them and one of them is going to be left with uh, the propeller and rudder system but the other one is go the other one i stripped it to bits this one has no uh, powertrain in it I removed everything these are just parts this is just an empty bare body because it's getting a brushless turbine power plant in it this is a 13 turn brushless like the one I put in my project stock car if you haven't seen that go see that here and um, this is a very good motor this is a 13 turn 3000 kV brushless and right now I do not have a ESC, but I have it on the way. Just bought it uh, recently because, as you guys uh, seen in my stock car video, I did not. Uh, I was new to these motors, so I did not know if they work. And I had a whole story in that. Go check it out in the video. But uh, anyways, bought that, but uh, I have to wait for that like an idiot. But whatever, that should hopefully come in soon. I have a better try right here. And uh, this is just the support for the rear. But I don't know if that is going to be using that. Because this is kind of like Dad's project. But I just wanted to introduce this guy. Uh, he's fine with that. And yeah, this is Dad's motor. Uh, I provided him the battery train stuff. You know, we, we share things. It's All of this stuff is ours. So it doesn't really matter which is uh, for who. But um, just wanted to include that. But uh, that is Dad's build kind of like and this is mine and it's almost finished so this one instead of a brushless it has twin 550 12 turn motors in it and this thing drives high guys i just bought a hobbywing 1080 uh twin motor brushless i mean brushed this thing is a brushed motors this thing has two brush motors there are 550 12 turns i just said and um yeah it's it's been a uh, a big challenge to get them in there because i'm gonna show you the stock motors guys that these things came with actually i have them right here in a bow these are the stock motors 
you see this in in uh, right now in person it's it it's amazing i'm sorry that you can't see that much guys but uh it, there, there are a lot of black stuff so you might not see that good but this is a 550 a 12 turn motor as you can see uh, not that much on this one because I have the brackets and I also installed these um, aluminum heat sinks with fans on them so they could keep these things cool and um, install the battery tray as well just have the servo sitting in there because I had a steering problem these things from factory came with a system that if you want to steer one motor stops spinning and the other, and the other one uh, goes spinning so like that was it had no rudder so I had to uh, prefit that rudder which uh, that bought and um, I don't have a linkage right now plus the servo kept coming off so I just bought a uh, a set of uh, servo mounts which I'm going to be mounting that in with so we can ensure a tight uh, installment and um, hopefully that, that thing will be done soon and then hopefully we shall go boating and um, yeah I'm not a kind of like a boat guy but uh, yeah, these things are going to be something different. I'm in this ESC. This ESC is super, super good. I love this. It was a bit expensive, guys. But um, I think it's going to be worth it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big thing in this boat, you know. So that is the build, guys. I just bought, by the way, a... Uh, MT305 remote and receiver I also bought another set for the uh, FTX Outback which I just bought recently the twin one to mine so I have two sets now of these extra so this one goes to the stock or something like that and that one goes to my other car but whatever guys these builds especially this one is about to be finished but um, you know this channel you guys like everything so I know this is not crawlers but I guess you guys uh, also want to see something like this. You know, this is going to be a really, really good build and interesting, I should say. And um, hope you guys like it. I'm going to like it for sure. This build is finished. And before we end the video, guys, I just want to show you how loud and how much RPMs these things do. So, ready? Okay, guys, so let's power this baby on. This thing is gonna be an animal guys <laughs> this thing is gonna go so fast guys so the last thing we have to do on this basically guys is a uh, get that string figured out and um, what I have in mind is uh, to run it from somewhere here and just connect it down here any boat guys out there who uh, may want to help with this I think this is going to be a good option because I just mounted my uh, battery holder and uh, it goes right here, it mounts right here so that place is not available for me like it, I had the steering rod right here but there's the battery tray right here so also uh, that decreases your chance for from water going in the boat you guys may want to help me with this but I have a plan that the servo is going to be mounted in here there's this like flat wall on the other side and then it, I'm going to have the rod coming out and going down and just connecting to the rudder. Hope you guys like these uh, builds and uh, hopefully this gets done soon uh, according to how much the parts come in uh, fast. But uh, hopefully I get a lot of more parts in the mail to keep you guys entertained. But uh, thanks for watching guys and also thanks for 100 subscribers. Sorry I was a bit late. Uh, I really I made a post on Facebook but 
I don't know how much of you are following me on my Facebook page. So if you aren't, go ahead and visit that in the description. There you have the link right there. And uh, yeah, bye bye. And see you in the next one.